Triple Ambulance Service was started in 1965, um, and we actually cover nine counties by our ground ambulance service. And then we dispatch the five helicopters and a fixed wing out of here as well. So we really have a uh, 16 county catchment area that we dispatch for, which is about 1.2 million people. In rural Mississippi, the environment is really different. Because we do have the 16 counties, if we go outside of those, we can still talk to our crews, just as you and I are sitting here talking now. That's how clear and concise it really is. I love the ability to talk directly to that crew without affecting the group that we have it set up on. Plus, they can talk directly back and forth to each other, to their supervisors. And what's important to me and my crew members is the ease of accessing FirstNet. We've got to get the first responders on the same network, all of them. Whether it's our ambulance service, whether it's another ambulance service, you have a big event, a uh, hurricane for instance, uh, FirstNet can put everybody on the same page where that response is best for the patient. I've been through a hurricane here and that's the first thing we lost was communication. And I think we won't lose that in the future because of FirstNet and then the growth that FirstNet's gonna allow me to do. I'm, I'm looking to expand it into the medical control arena. I'm looking for the telemedicine to come with FirstNet. I think that's just around the corner. We have embraced technology in EMS. I'm always looking for what's new and what can affect that patient. And that's what the advantage of FirstNet is.